Ooh. Yes, we already love boxing, but I'm sad to say that every now and again, unfortunately, it can be a bit bland. Some fights just bore the nipples off of us, like when Mayweather's being an absolute tuner and running around the ring for 400 billion quid. We want to see knockouts, not runouts, you rich donor. Or Tyson Fury cuddling Klitschko for 12 rounds. Sweet child of mine, just get a room. Luckily for us, though, the boxing gods have found some interesting ways of livening it right up. We've now got phone booth boxing, we've got dwarf boxing, and now we've got this monstrosity. Yes, that's right, monkey boxing. These warrior chimps have their own fight nights in the heart of Cambodia. Now I could understand if you considered this to be totally inhumane, a bit cruel, and just plain wrong on so many levels. But I gotta be honest, if I was in Cambodia and my travel guide said, would you like to see our famous landmark, the Bayon Temple, or go see a monkey boxing match, I'd say don't ask stupid questions, what time's the fucking monkey fight? I can only assume that some nutty Cambodian boxing promoter was eating his Cocoa Pops one morning whilst watching some boxing highlights, looked over at the cereal packet and thought, that's a fucking good idea. Let me ring the zoo, I've got a fight to make. And by Joe, did he go all out. Look at this, we've even got a ring girl. Now boxing fans love a ring girl, but I particularly like this one because for the first time she's not out of my league. I reckon I could have her putty in my hands with some proper chat up lines. Hello babe, just swing round here often. It's worth noting as well that someone was hired specifically with the job of making these costumes, and I think that's just brilliant stuff. Big up the Cambodians. They've got no issues of unemployment. They're making good use of their time. Now in this particular fight, this absolute warrior in red is clearly the more experienced as he controls the fight perfectly. He's got the blue corner thinking he's got the upper hand, but it's all a facade. He's like Povetkin in the Dillian White fight, losing by miles, but just waiting for his moment to throw that lethal blow, and then he delivers it. Bosh! Normally an illegal move in world boxing rules, but the referee doesn't give a monkeys. Pardon the pun. He knows that Coco has given the fans exactly what they want. It's a bloodbath in there. Look at the blue corner, he's still down. He's absolutely fucked. Red corner celebrating early and then goes to show the respect. He chucks in a couple more digs for good measure, then has a well-deserved sit down. Absolutely phenomenal stuff by the red corner. The story doesn't end there though. The fans were just desperate for a rematch and they got it. Live at the Monkey Square Gardens, Another absolute beauty of a ring girl, this time rocking a lovely salmon number. I'm expanding my search to Cambodia in the hope that I bump into her on Tinder. She's getting a double swipe right, yes. Blue Corner starts off strong once again, but Red is just biding his time like before. And he... Hang on a minute. Hang on a bloody minute, it's the same knockout. It's a bloody fix, they're all in on it. There you have it, proof that boxing is so corrupt. I bet Daniel Kinahan's involved in this, the dodgy fucker. Nevertheless though, the trilogy was made and the blue corner finally does get his revenge. He sends one straight into the baby maker. Bosh, he's in a bad way now, he needs assistance. The paramedics are on it straight away, superb work from them. Look at them go, ah. Oh. Can you believe it? NHS for you. Fucking useless. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bosh.